So we are now in the crown sessions of the diamond factory. So now she is doing the crown and this is uh, the bench and uh, here is the, the view of uh, full of diamond powder. So this one we call it a sky. And uh, we use the electro plating to to stick the di diamond powder on, onto the sky. And what she need to do is to uh, look at it facet very carefully and do it one by one. So all the tools have to be uh, very accurate. So every day they have to check their tools whether uh, is the angles of it is uh, correct or not. Because uh, diamond polishing is uh, a very fine polishing. A zero point one degree to make an error. Because we be going for a triple excellence or uh, a forever mark and uh, the degrees is we need to be always accurate actually uh, we have uh, Skype in the middle and then the workers is holding what we call a tank so the diamond actually is on the top of the tank and then you can see uh, she is rotating a, a wheel in the middle so that wheel has uh, 32 click so the diamond actually is divided into perfectly uh, 32 equal parts so once you finish uh, one facet so what you need to do is to turn to another click and do it another facet and you can see sometimes she is uh, rotating a button on the tank and that one is the fine tune because uh, the diamond is not perfect it's not like an iPhone by machinery you can do all the stuff so every diamond has its own uh, characteristic with the different angles and the different depth so we cannot use the same tools to do uh, every stone so every time when she's doing one facet she may need to use the uh, fine tune button to do some touch up of the diamond We do the diamond portion of the crown. What she have to do first is to make a big facet on on the surface. So when it's close to, to the end, okay, so it's close to finish, so you just stop polishing and take it up to look whether it's finishing or not. If it's close to the end, so you start doing the polishing of the surface because the, you, you can see the sky there is a lot of uh, nine on it so actually this is the uh, uneven surface so if you just press the stone onto the sky definitely she will, uh, the stone will left some what we call polishing line on the diamond and it will affect the uh, grading of the cutting so the polish will uh, polish the finishing will not be so good so once uh, the stone is close to finish we'll do the uh, polishing or we call it, uh, the shooting of the diamond the speed of polishing the, the stone is always depends on on the shape um, it's not the shape, the model of, of the stone. If it's a soluble stone, then it will become uh, faster. If it's a makeable, and sometimes if there's a surface graining on the stone, it will take a much longer time to, to do the polishing.
this card is the uh, Pavilion Polishings. So this gentleman is uh, polishing the Pavilion. You can see the diamond on top of the polishing tank. They call this tooth a pen. And every time you have to look uh, at the edge of the facet very carefully. When it's close to the facet, he has to do uh, the polishing or what we call the shooting of a diamond. So uh, the polishing line will lock left on the diamond after the polishing. We also can look at uh, the wheels. The wheels has a lot of uh, knives on it. The knives actually means the wheels is not so flat and it's uneven. So if you are keep on pressing on, on the sky, you will left the poison eye. So after doing one facet, he's doing another facet. So first of all, he has to press the stone on the sky and check the height and also the size of the facet, whether it's the same to the next one, to the labor group. When it's supposed to finish, he has to do the shooting again.